Welcome to TechWizard Zamar. In this video, we are going to answer this question. Can the same linked uh, service uh, be used in multiple pipelines in Azure Data Factory? The quick and easy answer for this one, yes, uh, the linked service can be used in multiple uh, pipelines and actually it is suggested to create single uh, linked service uh, uh, and use in multiple uh, uh, pipelines. So why is that so? First of all, what is linked service? Uh, linked service is a connection to your data source. So let's say we are here in your data factory and then we need to create this linked service. So I'm going to uh, make, make a connection to my blob storage. So in that case, or uh, I might want to make a connection uh, to my Azure uh, SQL. So let me do blob storage first. Uh, so here's blob storage and then uh, what I, I it is asking uh, provide me subscription uh, and after that it is asking me provide uh, the name of the blob storage. Um, uh, that's where the tech browsers uh, or TBIT storage uh, that's the account. Uh, so this is connection uh, to my this blob storage. Uh, so this link service uh, once is created, it can be used uh, in many uh, pipelines wherever you need to use that uh, because it's a straightforward connection uh, to that uh, blob storage. Inside that blob storage, uh, you can have different containers, different files and all that. Uh, that uh, if you need to extract data from some specific file, uh, that will be part of uh, the data set. Uh, so first of all, this is a connection string that you are making to some uh, data store. Now let's uh, cancel this out and uh, now we will go back uh, and uh, take a look on another uh, linked service. Uh, so here if I will get say uh, Azure SQL and uh, in this case uh, now we are making a linked service or connection uh, to the Azure SQL database uh, and here it asks you provide subscription then a server name and then a database name. Uh, so this linked service uh, is a connection to your database uh, on the Azure SQL uh, uh, DB. So what happened uh, now you need to extract data from different uh, tables uh, and you need to maybe uh, run the store procedure or uh, you know read the data from a view or all that uh, that will be part of the data set. Uh, so this is a connection manager to your data source. This can be used in uh, many places uh, in different pipelines. Um, so that's actually recommended uh, you don't want to have hundreds of linked services uh, even they're pointing to the same uh, data store and same database and all that you would like to create only one so when you deploy to the UAT prod and all that you can simply change the database name and server name and your pipeline will use those uh, uh, link services. Now I'm here in uh, Azure Data Factory link services uh, tab and you can see that uh, this is my link service that's pointing to my blob storage and it is saying that it is related to two. So I see right there it is related to the data sets. Uh, so data set one, data set two. So this link service is used in uh, two data sets. Uh, let's go to the pipeline here. Now I have pipeline one and, and this is a pipeline two. I can go ahead and create another pipeline and uh, right, sorry. First of all, I need to right click here, new pipeline. Now I'm going to use the copy activity here and the in the copy activity, you notice that even data sets are available, data set one and data set two. Now I can use even the same data sets in my copy activity if I'm reading the data from the same uh, file or writing the data to some same file. So these can be used. So if I go to source here, it asking me, hey, tell me from which data set you want to use. So if I will select the data set one, it's already created and I'm going to reuse it. That's also recommended if you're reading from the same file or table, maybe use the same data set instead of the limited text one, you could have named something better. So you would know that which this data set is extracting the data from file or maybe from the Azure SQL DB table or maybe, you know, related to the store procedure. So you can over and over use uh, wherever you need to use it. Uh, but most of the time you will be creating new different uh, data sets uh, because you will be pointing to different uh, files and uh, uh, reading and writing to different files. Uh, so, but your connection, uh, that linked service uh, will be pretty much is going to be a very limited number of them uh, because you will be probably using uh, a connection to our database or maybe only maybe two or three or four databases uh, or maybe some blob storages uh, you know that you have maybe and five to ten maybe you know that's all you're not going to have hundreds of uh, uh, link services but again depend upon your company how many uh, storage accounts they have how many SQL they have how many Oracle they have and you will be creating those connection or linked services to each of that. Now, 
as you see that I can use the same one or I can go ahead and create new so in this one I will say Azure SQL uh, sorry blob storage actually uh, blob storage and in this case uh, I can go ahead and select the CSV because I want to read the data from CSV file and then it gave me option select linked service so now you notice that there are two linked services available I can use the existing linked service or I can create new if I'm reading the data from the same blob storage I don't need to create the new one I can use the existing one so our question that we ask can we use in multiple pipelines yes why not so uh, that's actually a good thing to use it now we told the like okay we are gonna read from the same uh, link service uh, that's pointing to our blob storage but it's gonna create a new data set uh, so you can give some name uh, input file okay I'm gonna say DS input file okay now once uh, cannot uh, okay fine you know and now I can navigate uh, to that container called input and just uh, select the input file now that's fine hit ok and uh, now that's all good so new data set is created uh, but it is using the same linked service so these uh, other data sets are using it this is just uh, pointing to a different file now in the sync if I want to create uh, let's say use uh, this file and I want to create this file you know with the which is I'm pointing in data set uh, uh, the, mm, the limited text uh, type 2 that, then it will be just uh, writing to the that uh, file now if you go back here and uh, let's go back to the manage and here in the linked service uh, you see right there and uh, we can go ahead and publish and see this is the s new and uh, now the one comes right there so it tells us uh, one of the data uh, set is using this linked service uh. so that's how you would uh, be using a linked service uh, uh, in your uh, pipelines and um, so as I said that you will be using in multiple pipelines because uh, you will be reading the data from uh, probably same blob storage or writing or reading the data to the same Azure SQL database uh, so and uh, all those de different data sets the uh, number uh, is going to show up right here under the related uh, and that's how you would know that uh, this linked service is uh, used in many data sets uh, and how many uh, you know are uh, used here uh, to this uh, uh, link service um, so I hope uh, this video will help to explain all the details and uh, you know get the job and uh, thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in next video